Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's episode, I'm gonna be putting my Lexus ISF for sale and do a quick walk around uh, the car to kind of show you what it looks like along with the pictures that you may have seen online and uh, get a little bit more descriptive as to what is done to this car and how it looks. So let's take a look. So let's start with a quick walk around. Um, this is a 2012 Lexus ISF in Starfire Pearl. It has 78,500 and some odd miles on it. It'll be going up uh, a little bit as I use it and uh, until this car gets sold. Um, this car I've had for, it'll be four years next month in April. And um, I bought it as a Lexus certified pre-owned vehicle back in April, 2016. Um, it's in really good condition, I think. Uh, the the uh, paint looks really good still. The wheels look really good. Um, the mods that I do have currently on my car are, um, everything is stock besides the uh, RR Racing US RS and the, which are the lower control arm bushings. Then I also have um, on the wheels here, you'll see on the front here, you'll see uh, brake netic rotors in the front um, and I also have Project Mew pads in there NS400 street pads and then you'll notice the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 tire um, in the back here I do still have the stock uh, rotor but I'm running the Project Mew pads as well and then a the, the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s and let's see what else do I have done to this car? It's nearly stock. Um, I took the X-Force catback exhaust off um, in December. I had a small exhaust leak that I had to take care of, and um, I just decided to put the stock one back on and, um, you know, have it run through. Uh, I had my biannual smog check anyway, so I just put my stock exhaust back on. So my X-Force exhaust is um, sitting at my house right now. But other than that, there's not really too much to show you mod-wise. It's a pretty stock car. Um, I'll open up the, the interior for you here. But as you can see, the, uh, the panels are in pristine condition. Um, I have not had to get them replaced. Um, most of this car's life was inside a garage. Uh, so, you know, it, it looks really good. The paint is... Uh, really good you know it's cleaned up real well uh most of the time it's just me driving in this car my family would be in it occasionally but um not too long we would usually take our family vehicle when we went places just a little bit easier you know to go with two kids in an suv in car seats but the rear uh, you know barely any people have sat back here so it's in really good condition dash is looking uh the panels are looking real good the, open up the other back here for you so it's in really nice condition and the driver's side This is the 2012, so it has the most of the upgrades that came through the um, through the F. It has the limited slip differential. It has the newer wheels. It has the Alcantara interior. It has the blue bottomed um, ISF or F wheel. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, the um, I do have the swift springs in the front only so you can kind of see what that looks like here let me back it out for you so i did this uh about a month after getting the car just to kind of equal the stance so the front and rears match a little bit better there's too much of a gap on the front that's why i changed it so i do have swift springs in the front only now let me open up the The uh, hood for you, so you can kind of see the engine bay. Like I said, nothing to really see under here. It's just been 
kind of well kept. Oh, I, I do have Project Mu um, um, brake fluid in there. Changed that out uh, about a year ago. And I got a new battery um, in October 2019. So it's about five months or so now. Um, but yeah, I mean, car's in really good shape, um, really clean. So hopefully you have a pretty good idea now of what it looks like aside from the pictures that you've seen. I'm going to put the description down below. Sorry, I have some groceries in the trunk, so I'm not going to open that right now. But um, yeah, there's the, the trunk is pretty much, you know, stock looking. Uh, nothing really to show in there. I guess if you want to see a spare wheel or a jack or, you know, something like that. But yeah, let me do, uh, let me close everything down. And... This is a clean title ISF. I do have the title in hand. So you don't have to worry about that. Any, you know, any complications that way. Um, the registration is paid up through what, February, 2021. And um, I am not in any hurry to sell this car. I don't need to sell it. Um, I just don't really use it that much anymore. So I figured, you know, put it up for sale, see if someone wants to buy it and go from there. So um, I'm not really gonna entertain any of the joke lowball offers that people will inevitably send me, but here's what it is. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you are interested.